calm down, dragon... St okay, they're calming down. Hey, Internet, I'm Steve the Cosmere Knot, and this is Raffo. Happy birthday, Brandon! 48. And happy Colas Head Munching Day to you all. With Colas Head Munching Day, we get the state of the Sanderson, Brandon's yearly summation of what the heck he's been up to. And boy, what a year to summate. I mean, for Brandon, it was mostly spent riding Stormlight 5, but it was otherwise huge for us. For those of you who somehow skipped over 2023, this was the year of Sanderson. The year where Dragonsteel had to fulfill on their most successful Kickstarter ever. With four brand new premium hardcover books, as well as eight additional swag boxes for supporters of the highest tier. And they're good. Unfortunately, next year there will be no more subscription boxes. Much to the dismay of a large chunk of the fandom. It was a ton of work, you guys. More shipments went out from Dragonsteel than every year previous combined. But there will be the Words of Radiance Leatherbound campaign in March, as well as the full Stormlight TTRPG Kickstarter later next year. That will be a three-book set, with the Stormlight Handbook being the core rulebook, basically the player's guide, the world guide that showcases all the geography, wildlife, and cultures of Roshar, honestly kind of sounds like the coffee table book idea that's been kicked around before, and an as-yet unnamed campaign book for adventuring leading up to the True Desolation, which starts at the end of Words of Radiance at the Battle of Narek. Let's be fair, it's probably going to really get into full swing with Wind and Truth. <sighs> We won't be getting Horn Eater with the Words of Radiance Leatherbound campaign, as Brandon wants to save it for when he's missing Stormlight, probably between Mistborn Era 3 books. Those, titled Ghost Bloods, will start getting written beginning 2025, plus Elantra sequels alongside. Why are they tied so closely together? Next year will be Stormlight 5 revisions and catching up on other side projects, like an updated White Sand prose novel, which could be ready for Dragonsteel 2025. Jancy is done with the first Skyward Legacy book. Bing! 100%. Tentatively titled Blightfall, it takes place a few months after the end of Defiant, and follows Sadie and Arturo making contact with humans in former superiority preserves. Songs of the Dead, formerly Death by Pizza, formerly Death Without Pizza, will probably be released soon. And you said we'd only have one book released next year. Brandon has handed this entirely off to Peter Aurelian, as he just isn't able to commit to another series. Should still be good, though. Dark One is still chugging away. Depression is hard, Dan. We hear you. But now will probably just be a single book instead of a trilogy. I still need to listen to the audio story. It kind of got forgotten. The novel itself is tentatively set for a 2025 release. The fifth secret project from COVID, Super Awesome Danger, is moving forward. This Project Zero is a graphic novel loosely based on Brandon's kids. One builds a video game and the other gets trapped inside. That's happened to Brandon's kid. It's going to be produced entirely in-house by Ben McSweeney and Haley Lazo, so I'm confident it'll be absolutely delightful. Other projects have been mostly at a standstill. No Warbreaker or Rhythmatus news, Reckoners, Alcatraz, and Legion are buttoned up, the promised ebook of the audio exclusive The Original should happen eventually, and all the other Cosmere one-offs, Night Brigade, Dragonsteel, Silence Divine, The Grand Apparatus, Mythos, the Aether World series, are all still in development hell. Speaking of development hell, the Mistborn movie is not as dead as Brandon made it sound at Dragonsteel. We may get news in 2024. Universal has optioned Snapshot, the novella that takes place in the Reckoners universe. And if this isn't teasing at something, Brandon! Isaac has 118,000 words written of his Nikki Savage novel, but still has revisions to do before he even wants to show it to Brandon. Another member of Team Dragonsteel, Rachel Buchanan, has just finished her first novel, The Dollmakers, which will come out in August. I follow her on TikTok, and it sounds like it'll be really fun. Dan hinted at a very cool something coming in 2024, but as for other releases, we're going to have a dearth for a while, as Brandon doesn't want to release any of Era 3 or the Elantra sequels until they're all complete. Seriously, how and why are they so tied together? That's why.
So looking forward, next year we'll have Wind and Truth in December with Dragonsteel, but probably before that, the Bands of Mourning Leatherbound. And Brandon said in the spoiler stream that Lost Metal will follow soon after. And of course, Words of Radiance Leatherbound. Then, Spring 2025, the first Skyward Legacy book, with the reworked White Sand and or Dark One novel, That Dragonsteel. 2026, the second Skyward Legacy, with the third, and possibly Horn Eater at 2026 Dragonsteel. Nothing yet set for 2026. 27, and then 2028 will begin releases for the Ghostbloods trilogy and Elantris 2 and 3. Plus, wherever Dan's Cosmere novel and Isaac's Nikki Savage fit, plus Super Awesome Danger, and whatever else Brandon accidentally writes. There's also a bunch of Sanderson being translated into other languages, which typically also brings really cool new cover art. Brazil, the Czech Republic, Denmark, France, Egypt, Germany, the Netherlands, Spain, Turkey, Poland, and Serbia all getting new editions of something, in most cases many somethings, next year. Quick update on the state of the Steven... My sons are great? Over the past 52 weeks, I have managed to release 52 videos, and of that I am immensely proud. This next month, I will be moving into a new recording space, and that is going to take a bunch of time to accomplish. If you support me on Patreon, I will be releasing some behind-the-scenes videos of setting that up and what it's going to look like, but I won't be able to pull off weekly public releases for a bit. Once everything's settled there, I'm building a TARDIS, guys, we'll get back to our regularly scheduled programming. There's going to be some fun stuff coming. In fact, if any of you are or know of a Sanderson-loving therapist or counselor, specifically in Utah Valley if possible, I'd love to get in contact. I've got a project in the works that could benefit from a more clinical perspective. The order form for Aethers, Medals, and Raffo swag is still up. If you'd like to get something, while it probably won't make it to you before Christmas at this point, I will get that sent out to you as soon as possible. Thank you to everyone who has ordered stuff. And of course, thank you to my Patreon supporters, who, again, will get backstage views of setting up my new space. Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, and Dalinar's butt. Without you folks, I would not be able to do this. So, thank you. Of course, my unboxing of the final Year of Sanderson... Sanderson box will be coming soon. This video took precedence, but soon. I also have received my shipment of all the things, all the things, from Brotherwise, which have been taken and individually wrapped in the name of Christmas, so the opening of those you will see after the holidays. It's in my house and I want it! Also coming in January will be a full version of the Everstorm song, which I realize at this point I only have posted on my TikTok. It's now live on this channel too, so if you want to hear the first three verses, click here to watch and find out. Also, check out the Coloss Head Munching Day video on Dragonsteel's TikTok. It's fun. The end. Thanks, guys.